Salut à tous, c'est Franck et Romain Dill. Salut Comment allez-vous, les amis On se retrouve aujourd'hui pour la sixième partie de State of Mind. Bien, la nuit a porté conseil. On continue, nous étions donc avec Lydia, c'est ça This contact is currently offline. Très bien. Donc on était dans l'appart, on lui avait demandé de nous ramener du thé à Angela, donc il nous avait appelé au, au téléphone, et je ne sais pas ce qu'on a à faire ici. Bouddha, avec nos pensées, nous créons le monde. Le store. Mes docs, ils sont toujours là. L'interphone. C'est pratique d'avoir l'ascenseur directement dans l'appart. Oui, il n'y a, a pas de porte. <rire> Lingerie fabriquée par Robot Textile Bangladesh. Ça, 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 ça n'a pas changé. Welcome to Secret, Crystal 249. There is a customer already waiting for you. Hi. Hello, 249. Can I treat you right, sweetie? Wait, I... I'm not sure. It's my first time doing this. Well, what are you into? Maybe I can help you. I just want to talk to you. Without any of that... You know. Euh... Mais qui es-tu Don't you have anyone you can talk to? Well, you? <laughs> I have a boyfriend. We hardly talk. He lives in Seattle. We both work a lot. How are you? I don't know. Bien dit, I have a boyfriend. My roommate jumped out of our window today. Lol. That's... It's okay. Rest of us do. Ils sont de retour. I hardly knew him. <laughs> His work got to him, I guess. What do you want to talk about? Could you tell me your name? I mean, your real name. I'm Tom. I'm Andrea. Hello, Andrea. Thanks, Andrea. On va lui mentir. On ne sait jamais. I have to go. Wait. Money has been transferred to your account. 100 credits. 100? Really? Hell. Client suivant. Crystal, what have you been doing all day? Waiting for you. Oh, I know. <laughs> Change your username to doll. And what do you plan to do with me? Il est complètement détraqué, lui. Il parle à une humaine, mais il est en kiff robot. Hang 
cleaning up. Ça me plaît bizarre. Ugh, what a psycho. Money has been transferred to your account. 200 credits. Oh no. 200? Come on. Try someone else, you freak. Hi, Richard. And? Feeling okay? Well, sort of. You're not looking too well. Is it your... your work? No, I'm tired is all. Because of your work? Cyber sex, Richard. You're allowed to say it. I'm not a whore. People don't even get to touch me. <coughs> not physically, at least. So what? Richard Nolan no longer gives a damn about the difference between virtual and real? I don't want to fight, Richard, but your double standards can be confusing. I could always just give you some money. Right, because that won't make me feel like a whore at all. Lydia. I don't want your money, Richard. I'll get by somehow. What I need is... I don't know. A small break from all of this. I could stop by if you want. Really? You would? That would be... But what about your wife? You know, Lydia, our relationship isn't the best anymore. Tracy is... bitter. For ages now. Oh. Yeah, I mean, look at her. Do you get what I mean? The scar? It was so terrible. Since she got the scar, though, she's totally changed on the inside. She got bitter. Hardened. Been like this for years. I totally get that. And meanwhile, you know, I don't really feel guilty anymore when I meet a girl without a scar. Sounds terrible, right? Yeah, it yeah, does. Yeah, it does. I know. But, do you know what I mean? I think so, yeah. So, if you want me to come over, I'd love to, anytime. That would be nice. Yeah? Okay, then I will. I'll sort out a connection and call you back, okay? Okay. Looking forward to it. James? I'm sorry, I have to go, darling. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Donc là, on est encore dans un okay, souvenir de fragment, hein. je le rappelle. <rire> C'est un truc délire, euh, la part délire complètement. Ça sonne à la porte. Richard, just a moment. Oh, off to a great start. Putain, mais qu'est-ce qu'il faut faire? Damn! 
Putain, qu'est-ce que c'est que ça Qu'est-ce que c'est que cette phase de merde Dans la machine, ça a marché. Ok, ça en riait pour le robot. ici donc c'est forcément ça I want to sleep. I just had to... I'll let you in now. <coughs> Damn. Hey. Here I am. Almost on time. Richard, come in. So, yes, there you are. Good to see you. You too. I imagined our greeting to be a little more euphoric. You know, with kisses and hugs and all that. What? Yeah. Il est chaud, Richard. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. Me too. <laughs> well, we're just getting started. Please, don't. How was your trip? Okay. You have pretty intense neighbors. <laughs> oh? Who did you meet? Hopefully not Dyke. Unshaven guy with a hoodie in his mid-fifties? Uh, yeah. That's Dyke. Be careful around him. He sells information. You know, the cops, trashy mags, anyone willing to pay. Oh, great. He recognized me. He also knew I was coming here. Are you worried because of Tracy? That she'll find out where you are? No, no. Feeling guilty? Do you want to leave again? <sighs> If you're worried, then go. I, I don't want to spend an evening with a guy that isn't even really here. <sighs> Nonsense. Of course I want to be here. Fine. Just one more thing. You have to call home, right? I have to. My kid. I would have done it out on the street, but that... Dyke. It's okay. I understand. I'd also want you to call me. Should I do it outside? You can stay here. I'll go to the bathroom. Hey, it's me. Uh, listen, I'm in a bit of a hurry just calling to say that I arrived well. Yeah, that's all okay. It's a nice hotel. No, no, I'm staying in. Guess I'll be sleeping soon. I'm pretty wiped. Is James doing fine? Give him a kiss for me. Oh, you hypocrite. I gotta run. Yes, yes, of course. 
I love you too. gone outside. You wanted to speak with your son. I did. So what? Tracy is his mother. I love you too. Great. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what did you expect me to say when I'm talking to my family as... As what? A cheater? As a father. Well, this got off to a great start. Come on. Let's open a bottle. Bien, intéressant. What the hell was that? Hello, Betty. Come with ah. me, little robot. John. Oh, damn. It's me, Richard. Made any progress? How did it go? I think that piece of data has been damaged. The scenes seem to be incomplete. Did you see anything? Uh, a street, an apartment. There were two women. Two women? What did they look like? Did they have names? One was called uh, Lydia. Lydia? You know her, don't you? I know a Lydia, yes. What else did you see? Tell me, Richard. You contacted Lydia for your work, am I right? Yeah, exactly. Why? Just a thought. She talked about you. Okay. What did she say? That you were a famous journalist and whatnot. Oh, well, famous. But yeah, that's why she contacted me. How exactly does that relate to my son? Sorry, I was just curious. These simulations are intense. Mais pourquoi il lui dit pas que il a vu euh... Euh, alors, on a déjà vu accident. Accident, you mentioned. I, I think I've um, uh, experienced it. Yeah. I had this feeling as if I. You remember something? But that would be great. Look, your son Richard. How did he survive that? What do you mean? Well, your wife. Uh, it didn't seem as if the child survived. Ah, bien. Of course, Il y va directement. Okay, non, pour okay. moi, je, je les ai vus morts aussi. Enfin, j'ai vu pour le coup. Euh... Like... My son's alive, Adam. Tracy, j'ai vu morte. Your wife, Richard. Tracy? Yeah. What about her? How is your relationship? What do you mean? We're married. Do you get along? Sure. I mean, of course, we have our differences, but that's normal. I see. Can you uh, tell me anything about this woman? 
Where she's coming from, I mean. Her past. No, no idea. Okay. Is there a problem? No, not at all. I, I just have a feeling. If I... my world isn't real, how do you know so much about it? That's not important. Non, parce qu'on dirait qu'il euh... se souvient pas des fragments aussi clairement que nous on le vit en fait. Un peu bizarre au niveau des, des dialogues. Alors il cherche à lui dire ce qu'il a vu, mais pas complètement. They want to find the server where your city is stored. They're planning to set off bombs. Destroy City 5. <laughs> okay, Richard. Did you see anything else? Anything about James? No. Keep it up. Send me more data. Okay. Sure, Richard. You have a new message from Amy. Oh, Amy. Adam, I was just about to write you a message. And? Rested up? Where were you last night? Oh, sorry. I had to go back to the archive. I didn't want to wake you. Do you have a second? I need to talk to you. No, no time at all. That's what I wanted to write to you. It's insane here. I don't think I'll make it home tonight. Don't be mad, okay? Yeah, yeah, the project, I know. The great project. What's up with you? I don't know. I really don't know. Wait. Why don't we meet up at Liquid Sky? You know the art exhibition in the Lantern Quarter? Lund's opening up a new room. Ah, un nouveau lieu, parfait. Sounds good. Perfect. See you later. Love you. Hug John for me, etc., etc. Bien. Se relaxer un peu. Ah, je me trouve un grand talent Il n'y a pas à dire. Un peu laborieux au début. Alors, est-ce que c'est toujours la même note, ça Oui, je pense que c'est toujours la même. Donc du coup, on se casse. Ah, mais attends, il y a un câlin de la part de machin... Sally. My wife. Amy. Yes. Amy. Did she... Give you a special task. Help John. Apart from that. Do you have a special request, Adam? I need to talk to somebody. I need... All this... I need... You are confused, Adam. You should see Dr. Sykes. No. Dr. Sykes is... I want to talk to you. I need information. The bot network. Um... Does it have something on it? Richard? Richard Nolan? No, sir. And Richard's wife? Tracy Nolan. Tracy. Nolan. Tracy Nolan, yes. Photo model. Station avatar for... Oula, elle bug. When her face was scarred in a... 2048. Sally? Hey. Sally, can you hear me? I am so sorry. Make sure you get fixed up, okay? Donc Tracy, ça l'a fait bugger. Le gamin est, par est parti par contre. Hein. Ouais. Allez, zouf On va donc au Liquid Sky. Thank you. 
found your tracer thing. Okay. Yeah. Adam, over here. I don't know you. Adam, over here. Hello, Adam. You look you stressed. Look tired. <laughs> ah, okay. Let's go. <laughs> Have you seen a technician around here somewhere? No, why? Something broken? Nah, don't worry. You remember Lun. She designed the hole. Well, not alone. Yeah, and everything isn't done yet, and it's all a mess. How does this work? What do we have to do? Turn your brain off. Perfect. Just what we need. How's John? Hard to tell. He never speaks. Because of the accident? I don't know. Or is it the clinic? No idea. He won't say anything. Wonder who he gets that from. Have you seen Dr. Sykes again? Yeah, but I'm considering looking for another doctor. Getting on your nerves already? Yeah, that too. <laughs> C'est marrant, ça. Ténèbres. So? What's going on? Why did you want to meet up? You were so tense before. Is everything okay? I really have no idea. Yes? Okay. What would you say if... Yeah. Don't worry. It's crazy. Is it about the accident? No. Not just. You're overwhelmed. No. So what is it? I sometimes... I sometimes get this feeling. I don't know how to describe it. Like deja vu? Exactly like deja vu. Just imagine someone tells you that your life, everything, is nothing more than some sort of imagination, a, a fallacy. Someone told you that? No, it's just... Who said that? Pas tout compris, hein? It's just a hypothetical, but imagine if somebody came up to you and said just that. What would you do? What would you say? This is really eating you up, huh? I think I know that feeling. You know it? Of course. Sometimes I think I've gone mental. Or I'm dead. Du partout. I mean, look at where we are, both of us, in this space, in this city. Ouais, ça reste, hein. V. 
voler. Elle va trop stylé leur conversation du coup. J'espère. J'espère que le scénar va pas trop partir en cacahuète sur la dernière partie quand même. Qu'est-ce qu'il veut, lui Il fait pas partie de ce monde-là, peut-être. Et encore un fragment. City 5 services. I didn't see a technician. He must have come through here. 
or... You must be confused, Mr. Newman. Yeah, you put that nicely. <laughs> Perhaps a consequence of the accident. Mental blackouts can be a source of danger. How do you know about my accident? From the bot network. All biography relevant data is saved to the network. Biography relevant? What exactly happens to all... <laughs> Nothing we exclusively use for example. J'ai dit hier Google et Amazon, ça nous espionne tout ça, ils savent tout. Know your exact blood type and immediately call for the correct blood to be delivered. Did you know that since the introduction of the bot network, the number of life-threatening accidents has been reduced to almost zero? No, I didn't know that. Effectivement, on ne le savait pas. These technicians what are they doing exactly? Trying to find the cause of the geohazard. Like computer sockets? Earthquakes release electromagnetic waves. The computer sockets are connected to the ionosphere via the cloud. Uh -huh. Complex scientific relationships are often difficult to understand. Have a nice day, sir. D'accord. <coughs> Un peu énigmatique là quand même cette euh, ce qu'on fait dans cette partie. Hein. À part le début avec Lydia, là, depuis qu'on est là, euh, j'ai pas tout compris. Pas que ça s'éclaircira plus tard. Et donc retour à la maison. Très bien. On va s'arrêter là pour cette partie. On va la faire un peu plus courte parce que celle d'hier était plus longue. Donc, eh bien, je vous remercie d'avoir suivi cette sixième partie de State of Mind. On avance, on avance, euh, même si, comme je viens de le dire, c'est un, un peu nébuleux, là, ce qu'on a fait quand même. C'est parti dans des délires, euh, il faut que je, reva je vais revoir la partie, je vais revoir un peu les, les dialogues, avant de continuer, avant d'enchaîner, et, euh, et je pense que ça ira mieux. Merci d'avoir suivi la vidéo, et à très vite pour la septième partie, la suite de State of Mind. Bisous, bisous, ciao